everyone, this is Swiss at Door 44 and um, I'm doing an unboxing today of the El Gato Game Capture HD. So let's have a look at the box. The front is quite nice. Size pretty bland. Back it gives you all the specifications in um, English and French. I think that is. That's where you get it out. Not much on the top, just a diagram and on the bottom. Um, just trademarks and various things. Let's have a look. Let's open it up. So that's what it looks like. Nothing on the back, nothing on top, of course, nothing on the side until you open it up. And there it is. Whoops, I just clicked my mouse. Let's take that out and have a look in a minute. First of all, on the side, just instructions showing you how to set it up, which is fairly easy. Now, inside the box, various leads. Okay, first off you get a um, USB to a uh, mini USB, uh, which I have about seven because of my PlayStation 3, and um, other such things that use the uh, mini USB. Um, you get an HDMI cable, which is quite nice, but I guess they should have supplied you one with, with, um, with one since it is HDMI out. That'll come in handy. Uh, component leads, which also doubles as a RCA input on the uh, on the card. And this is the, uh, the PlayStation 3 to AV. Useful. Now for the thing itself, quite small. Not much. It's quite light. Anyway, let's have a go look on the computer. Okay, so this is the software that you have to download to use the Elgato Games Game Catcher HD. Um, the software I'm quite impressed with. Uh, you can change from profiles. Um, your input device, so if you want to record your NES for example, which I find is pretty goddamn useful since um, I can't exactly record my NES unless I use my DVD writer but that's just a bit of a sod to use. Um, yes, you can get all, all yeah, you can get all more info which uh, you probably don't need. Um, you can change your component cables no, change things like your component cables, HDMI, S-Video Composite, and you can also use analog audio, which is fairly useful. Apart from uh, not to me, and the, you can change color range, uh, the profiles, and you can change the quality, which um, didn't really seem to make enough make a difference to my eyes because everything just looked pretty damn pretty damn nice, no matter what set, what settings are changed. Uh, you can change brightness, contrast, saturation, and hue. Um, this does it in real time and also displays it to the TV as well, which is quite handy. But I just think everything looks fairly decent anyway. Uh, you can change the analog gain, analog audio gain, and you can change your profiles um, to all these and uh, your TV compatibility. But that I don't, really haven't needed to use that. Um, you can change the, the um, volume of the game audio. And uh, you can also do commentary, and you can re record it directly, which is, well, really, really handy, because I really don't like synchronizing my my audio with um things that I have recorded. It just gets a bit of a sod, and um, this will actually reduce the game sound whenever you speak, or at least I presume that's what it does. I haven't used it yet. 
Uh, y this has live streaming built in, but I'll probably maybe just use XSplit because with XSplit I don't seem to get a, a delay or anything. But I don't know, I haven't tried it on this. So, uh, ooh. Um, yeah, change servers. And uh, you can change status message and your bitrate. Um, actually, I need to change that, but I'll do it later. Um, that's just basically standard. Which is a bit weird since everything is called uh, Migrate, including those, which is a bit weird. Um, yeah, so it's all like this. Uh, you can change your video title, game, um, what game you're playing, descriptions, uh, and you can even tag it, which is kind of useful. But that, um, also, you can edit all your videos, which is pretty damn nifty. So here's a bit Dead Rising recorded earlier. As you can see, the quality is pretty good, but I'll get onto that. And um, you can share your videos. Oh, uh, you can scrub through them. Um, everything is done in folders, which is also quite handy, but not really for me because I'm used to just having everything as separate files instead of folders. So that's good. And um, okay, I guess that's it. So uh, I'll show you some gameplay now. Uh, so goodbye. Ugh!